Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I have got a large, <laughs> they're always large, I'm not going to lie. I've got a large Tesco's food haul for you. Um, this came to £135-ish, there's a little bit of change out of that. That includes the £5 delivery charge and the 40p bag charge. I had three, four, I had some substitutions. I, will ke I kept them all so I'll show you them as we go. And yeah, it looks like that. I've still got loads on the floor so I'm going to have to do this in two parts. But let's jump right in. I've got some apples. These are the small sweet apples. I've got bananas. I didn't get as many bananas as normal because John's not been having a smoothie every day. So we're not using them as quickly. So I've got so we've got quite a stash of frozen ones already in the freezer. So I didn't get quite as many. I got some tin foil. I've got some peppers. There's Gillian baking noisy. Are you being noisy? He's like, no, not me, I'm good boy. Anyway, <laughs> peppers. Um, got some washing up liquid in the scent apple orchard. I think I ordered the silver one and that was a substitution but Fairy is a good brand so I'm not that bothered. Um, the normal, uh, this is what you use this, blah, blah, blah. you use this to wash your clothes. <laughs> uh, we normally get surf but it was like six pounds and this was I think three pounds or two pound fifty and I just liked the uh, description of the scent. Sparkling bloom and yellow poppy. It might smell horrible, but I liked the description and that's why I bought it. We got some Colgate uh, Max White toothbrush, not a toothbrush, toothpaste. And then I got some J2O um, spritz. I had this at Christmas and I really liked it, but I'm quite sure it was a different flavour. But it has watermelon in and if you guys know me at all, you know my connection to watermelon. I love it. So I had to give it a go and this was only a pound. So yes, and then I got, we got the Tesco uh, meal deal and I got John this fresh lemonade. He loves this stuff. This is just normal lemonade and this one's got raspberries in it. I can't drink it because I'm actually allergic to it, but John really likes it. So got that for him. We've got some alcohol in today's haul, which isn't something that normally happens. Um, we, the, the person that it's for likes Jack Daniels. I saw these little minis and I thought they were dead cute, so I got them. Um, so there are the Honey Jack Daniels with Lemonade. There's two of those. There's the normal Jack Daniels with Cola. And then there's the can version of the Honey one with Lemonade. And the can version with Diet Cola. And I'm sure my friend will like them. I, she... She's not really a big drinker, but when she drinks, she has Jack, so I'm hopeful she'll enjoy that. This is the gift bag I bought to put them in. Clearly, even though I'm quite sure this was called a large gift bag, I'm not 100% sure if that's all going to fit in there. But anyway. Um, I got this for the first time in the last food haul. They are addictive. These are by Candy Kittens, and they are sour watermelon. Um, they taste they're like the same texture as Haribo if that makes sense, like the sugary Haribo. Um, they're gluten free and they're actually low in calories. They're like 23 calories per sweet. Really like them. They are expensive for, for sweeties, but they are definitely grown up sweeties, so that's okay. So yeah, I got two of those. I got some low fat mayonnaise. I got some 50% less sugar ketchup. I got some diet Pepsi. We got two packs of these Just Roll Cinnamon Swirls. These, oh my goodness, they are amazing. If you try these, what I would say, like here, you can see that the icing looks all really pretty. However, um, I put my icing on um, quite quickly after taking them out of the oven and the icing all melted. You don't get this pretty effect, but the icing sinks into the pastry more, so it makes it even more yummy. So I personally, if you do this, I would put the icing on too soon. But yeah, these were like two for three pounds. It's like on an offer. I think there was other things in the range, but these are the ones I wanted. 
Um, we've got some pizza bases. These are different to the ones I've been having recently just because they're on offer, so I thought I'd give them a go. We've got some meaty strips for Darwin and Gilly in chicken flavour. The boys quite like them. They smell vile, but the boys like them. And then we got two. I thought I ordered four, but we've got two of these Lily Kitchens. Um, herby chicken flavour and cottage pie. And then we've got puppy milk, even though we don't have puppies. We've got big boys now, but they really liked it. If you saw the vlog where we let them have it, they really enjoyed it. So they can have it for a treat. So we've got two of those. I've been having massive cravings for Maltesers. You'd know that if you've seen the vlogs. Um, and these are like three for a pound. So I got three bags and three bars. Again, if you're gonna eat chocolate, Maltesers is normally a low calorie choice. And then underneath it, I've got some of the Special K um, chewy breakfast bars. Reduced fat hummus. Um, the This seems to be rather standard in our uh, food halls of late, the uh, Tesco Finest Broccoli Peas and Edamame Beans. Four pints of skimmed milk. This quark was a substitution, but it worked out in my favour because I actually ordered the smaller size um, and they gave me the bigger one and obviously Tesco's only charge you for the item that you've ordered, so win. I'm going to attempt to make ice cream with this. Yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> I have got two of these um, tiramisu's. John and I both like them. John loves them. And they're on offer. They're back on offer for a pound at the moment. So we've got two. Uh, back here, I have the Tesco Finest Millionaire's Dessert. This was a substitute. I actually ordered the chocolate tort um, to come as part of the meal deal. They didn't have any. We've got this. We both like it so it's not a problem. Okay, stepping around the veg. Um, we got two packs of the salt and vinegar rice cakes. Really like them. Uh, and we got two packs of the half fat mozzarella. We use that for the pizza. Two packs of cocktail sausages. Darwin and Gilly have these in their breakfast every morning. We've got some prosciutto or parma, ham, whatever you like to call it. I'm gonna do some wrapped cod this week. Some German salami to go on one of the pizzas. Gilly is whinging. Got some smoked salmon because we're gonna be having eggs benedict at the weekend. Two packs of unsmoked bacon. Some minted lamb kebabs, they look quite nice. We've got two packs of sliced turkey, these are for pack lunch and sandwiches. We've got a two pack of New Zealand lamb grill steaks, John really likes those. And then we've got two of the Tesco Finest ranch steaks with garlic butter, they are yummy. Next, we have a Tesco sweet barbecue pulled pork. I think this is the one on Slimming World that is like sin free, I'm not sure, but it's yummy. And the really good thing about this stuff is, um, obviously I do my shopping once a fortnight, and this always has a really good date on it, so it's guaranteed to be okay for the second week. Whereas some of the other stuff, I have to put in the freezer and then remember to defrost it for the shopping every other week to work. Got some eggs, finally back to the eggs we had previous, the eggs I got last food haul were caged. They were from caged hens and I felt hideous because we always buy free range. We try to always get local, like if you don't see us have eggs in the food haul, it means we've got some from one of the one of the neighbours of John's shop. They have chickens and we try to buy our eggs from them but obviously because they're just like back back garden or garden chickens they don't lay as frequently, so they don't always have them available. So, yeah, try to always get local free-ranged eggs. And I bought the brand I bought in the last food haul. They were from Caged Hens, and it did upset me once I realised. On to Frozen. 
I got some spinach and chickpea falafels. These are only a pound. Hopefully they taste yummy. John doesn't like um, falafel. I do. So, yum. And then we got meat-free toad in the hole. These are back up to full price now in Tesco's, but in my opinion, they are so yummy, it's worth paying the full price for it. I should probably stop being lazy and just make it from scratch, but at the moment, we're having those. We have got four of these breakfast buddies. They're getting a little bit of a weekend tradition for us now. They're yummy. We've got a four pack of the strawberry and banana frozen yogurts. We normally get two packs of these, uh, but we didn't eat many this last two weeks, so there's quite a few left in the freezer. Um, yeah. <laughs> Christmas. No. <laughs> I've got some pigs in blankets because, well, why not? Pigs in blankets are just the best little thing ever. I um, And yeah, we're going to have them at the weekend. This was a substitution. I ordered turkey because I wanted proper Christmas. I wanted turkey with pigs in blanket. Um, and they substituted it for chicken. It's fine, apart from it's far too big for what we actually need. And it takes a lot longer than the turkey to cook but we just have to be a bit more organised. Strawberries, mushrooms, some low-fat coleslaw, red seedless grapes. Continuing with our Christmas theme, sprouts, because, you know, I love them. Oh, stuffing. Got some of this pulled pork. It's on offer at the moment for a pound, which is awesome. I didn't quite realise how many naughty things I bought in this shopping, but I have, but hey-ho. Um, so this is from the Polish section. Vedel is the best chocolate in the world. Um, so this is just milk chocolate with hazelnut. We got two of those. And then this sounds a little bit strange, but it is yummy. It's, um, well, the pictures are raspberries, but I'm sure it's wild straw. Yeah, it does say wild strawberry and blueberry. We've had this before. It's really yummy, but I think those pictures look more like raspberries. Anyway, this is for John because I can't eat orange. Um, but basically, they're the Vedel version of Jaffa cakes. We recently got um, raspberry Jaffa cakes from the Polish shop, but they weren't Vedel. They were a different brand. But yeah. John likes Jaffa Cakes, we both are in love with Vedal. So I got him some of those. I've got a pea and ham soup. Some sweet corn. We're going on a little trip on Sunday, so I got myself a little snack. Uh, they're falafels. I know I've bought falafels, but it's easier because it's got the little hummus in there and it's all packed nicely, so yeah. I got these. Me and John tried these on a whim last week last Sunday I think and we both really like them they're obviously they need to go in the fridge but they are um, I think that's the brand I'm not going to try and pronounce it but it's a caramel latte but an iced one so it goes in the fridge these are on offer at the moment the, there's like four four flavours four different flavours I think um, but yeah they're on offer in Tesco at the moment for 50p each so I got four um, got some more soup that's three bean and vegetable I really like this John isn't keen on this one but I like that one I got my normal coffee the dowel egg butts in roasted hazelnut and then I got one jar of glumpki which for those of you that don't speak Polish uh, it's uh, stuffed cabbage in tomato sauce normally buy two but we only used one jar out of the last shopping so got one left over and this one, I don't know how to pronounce. It's something we've not tried before, but we've tried this brand. It's the same brand of, of the Gwampki and the Bigos that we get. Um, and everything we've tried from this brand has been really yummy. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's basically tomato. It's the same tomato sauce they use for the Gwampki, um, but there's meatballs in it. So I thought I'd give that a go with some pasta at some point. That was rambly. We've got three packs of the Chef's Medley. It has carrots, um, green beans, baby corn, and um, long stem broccoli. Three of those. I know I've just like got three packs of carrots, but you can't use these for carrot sticks. So, 
bag of carrots, bag of onions, a cucumber, some courgettes, some cherry tomatoes, some Kingsmill soft sandwich thins, under there there are some breakfast muffins, we got three packs of these baby potatoes with herbs and butter. A bag of spinach where the bag is a bit blown and some of the spinach already looks a bit white, so that's not gonna look white, wet. So that's not gonna last very long. Didn't think I ordered two, but I've ended up with two packs of wraps and a big bag of potatoes.